All right, guys. Um, what I'm going to do here on in this video is show you a little bit of background about uh, uh, MIT App Inventor. Uh, figured I'd show you how to install the um, app. And uh, anyway, first the first thing you're going to need to do is actually install install on your cell phone the uh, MIT AI2 companion, and you'll you see it here. Just go to the uh, Google Play Store. And uh, you, you see it right here. Just search for the uh, MIT uh, App Inventor or this AI2 companion. Either way, it'll, it'll bring it up. As you can see, I've already got it installed on my phone. So I'm just going to click open. And this is what the app looks like right here. So anyway, that's going to be your very first step in all this. Um, next, what you'll need to do uh, is actually go to the um, App Inventor website. And if you haven't, um, done so already you'll need to create a website or a um, create an account I'm sorry and in order to uh, get an account there you'll need a Google account as well so make sure you got a got a Google account I'm, I'm assuming you've got that um, so anyway you'll need to sign up for an account there and create it and then uh, to get the um, app that I created for this robot, you'll need to go to the gallery um, and search in the gallery. You just need to search for uh, the in the search bar. You just need to search for GPS robot. And you'll see it come up there. And you'll just need to click on that and you'll say uh, op open the app and what that's going to do is it's going to open it in in your folder there so anyway then it'll ask you for a name to call it and all that anyway I've, al I've already got it so I'm not going to open up another instance of it here so anyway here here's the app um, this is what the uh, the app will look like on your on your cell phone You've got two different screens here. You got you got this one, and then you've got the uh, blocks window right here, and that's uh, kind of uh, these right here are just buttons that are going to be created on your uh, on your phone on on the app. And when you look at the blocks, this is actually the code that's connected to those individual things, and you can uh, make changes to your to the code and everything if. If you want to, although I'd say leave it alone until we, until you make sure everything's working like it's supposed to, and then you can make make uh, changes to it as needed. But anyway, this is the uh, designer portion of it here. And anyway, to install the app on your phone, you're going to need to go to the uh, build right here, drop drop down menu, and click on this section right here app provide QR code and you're going to click on that right there and what it's going to do is it's going to take several minutes uh, to build this app and it's going to uh, basically compile the code and put it into a format that the uh, that the uh, that the phone can understand and it's going to build that you can see right here it's in the process of building it and once it gets built, it will um, try to install it on your phone. But what we'll need to do is after it gets built, is we're going we're gonna to open up our uh, app that we installed on our phone, and we're going to we're going to install it. So I'm going to wait for this to get through building, and be right back with you. Okay, the app uh, finished building, and as you can see, there is a uh, barcode link here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our get our cell phone app out, and what we're going to do is we're going to click on scan QR code. So we'll click on that, and you can see like a cell phone app or a uh, camera app actually opened up. And so what we're going to do is we're going to back off here, and I'm going to take a let it focus in. You can see it took a snapshot of it and now what it should do is it should ask us to install that the uh, the program 
and it'll take just a second for it to pull up and you see right there it says install blocked and we can go into settings now your phone might be you know different depending on uh, depending on your phone but anyway we'll go into settings and you can see it says unknown sources right there we're going to click on unknown sources and it says installing from unknown sources may be harmful anyway this is perfectly fine I promise there's no virus there and click on OK see it says it doesn't require any kind of special access or anything and we'll click on install and it will install the app onto our phone and while it's doing that I'll just pause it right here okay that didn't take very long it just uh, says uh, app installed and we can click open now and we'll open the app all right so now we got the app on our phone and that's all there is to it to installing it all right thanks for watching